Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tech TV. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate Viber on your desktop. Keep watching the video till the end to learn how and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming updates from us. Open up a web browser to begin. In order to activate Viber on your desktop, the first thing you'll need is an application, of course. Download Viber application on your desktop. If you don't know how to do that, simply open up a web browser. Go to www.viber.com into the search box. And once you land on the official web page of Viber, click on Download Viber, which will help you download the Viber application on your desktop. Once you have it, simply click it open. The first interface of your desktop Viber will look like this. In order to use Viber on your computer, you'll need to follow these instructions displayed on the left-hand side of the pop-up. Simply go grab your mobile device and open up your Viber application. Once you do that, tap on the More button in the lower right-hand corner and tap on the QR code icon at the upper right-hand corner from your profile page. Once you do that, you'll be able to see a QR code reader displayed on your screen. Simply place the QR code in the center of the square, right where your QR code is available on the screen of your computer. And once you do that, you'll need to approve a secondary device activation by tapping on Approve. Tap on Yes in order to confirm your selection on activating Viber on your secondary device. And now you have activated Viber on your desktop. As you can see that on my desktop, my Viber has been activated. Now simply click on the sync button in order to synchronize your chat history. You'll need to approve from your mobile device in order to sync your chat history on Viber by simply tapping on sync. And there you go. That is how you can easily activate Viber on your desktop, quick and easy. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more tutorial videos like this. Thanks for watching.